The gender of God can be viewed as a literal or as an allegorical aspect of a deity. In polytheistic religions, gods are more likely to have literal sexes which would enable them to interact with each other, and even with humans, in a sexual way. In most monotheistic religions, one cannot apply a gender to God in the usual sense, as God's attributes cannot be compared to those of any other being. Thus, the idea of a divine gender is ultimately considered an analogy, used by humans in order to better relate to the concept of God, with no sexual connotation. Although God is an intangible spirit in many religions and therefore is thought to have no gender, debate over their actual sex nevertheless has passionately raged in recent decades. The preponderance of references to God in both the Old and New Testaments are in the context of a masculine reference, often father. However, there are a significant number of feminine allegorical references to God, most often in some maternal role. Comparative religion Topic. What is understood by words for God varies across cultures and has sometimes changed dramatically at various times. Buddhism challenged various ideas in Vedic religion, the monotheism of Judaism challenged its polytheistic neighbors, and in European history, the Roman Empire officially adopted Christianity under Constantine I, later becoming the center of the Christian religion, but having this centrality challenged during the Reformation. Evolutionary <inaudible> <inaudible> process <inaudible> A simple view of the history of religion as an evolutionary process was proposed in the 19th century from animism to polytheism to monotheism, with some believing theism, atheism, or agnosticism to be the most advanced approach. Such views are no longer widely current in the study of religion. Comparative religion notes distinctive idiosyncrasies across major religions that are better explained by close historical scrutiny, rather than appeal to a simplistic theory. Topic. Role of language Topic. Nonetheless, a hegemonic Western conception of metaphysics influenced strongly by Judaism and Christianity is identifiable in European literature from Greek and Roman authors through to the present, such that English language betrays an inherent bias towards monotheistic thought. Where animist languages may not even have words for personal deities, but rather a nuanced vocabulary of spiritualism, and polytheistic cultures have lexis suited to articulating relationships between deities in a pantheon, some modern English speakers only recognize alternatives such as God, gods or no god, being unfamiliar with Buddhism and animism. Topic. Literary comparisons Topic. When considering the literature of the world's religions and metaphysical philosophies, the diversity of the underlying conceptions of the spiritual realm is foundational to appreciating any points of comparison. Comparison of views of the gender of spiritual entities is no exception. Each religion or philosophy needs to be understood in its historical, social, linguistic and philosophical context. Thus, matters of gender do apply to animism, but not in the foundational way they do in polytheism and monotheism. Additionally, since animism is largely associated with oral societies, we are dependent on the ethnographies of cultural anthropologists rather than documented scriptures and later commentary. Shinto is a notable exception. <laughs> Abrahamic religions <laughs> In the Hebrew and Christian Bible God is usually figuratively imagined in male terms in biblical sources, with female analogy in Genesis chapter 1 verses 26 to 27, Psalm chapter 123 verses 2 to 3, and Luke chapter 15 verses 8 to 10. A mother in Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 18, Isaiah chapter 66 verse 13, Isaiah chapter 49 verse 15, Isaiah chapter 42 verse 14, Psalm chapter 131 verse 2, and a mother hen in Matthew chapter 23 verse 37 and Luke chapter 13 verse 34. Genesis chapter 1 verses 26 to 27 says that the Elohim were male and female, and humans were made in their image. Judaism 
Topic. Although God is referred to in the Hebrew Bible with masculine imagery and grammatical forms, Jewish philosophy does not attribute to God either sex or gender. At times, Jewish agadic literature and Jewish mysticism do treat God as gendered, though these are not uniformly masculine or feminine. Christianity most Christian groups conceive of God as triune, having the belief that God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are distinct persons, but one being that is holy God, God the Son, Jesus Christ, having been incarnated as a human man, is clearly masculine. Classical Western philosophy believes that God lacks a literal sex because it would be impossible for God to have a body, a prerequisite for sex. However, classical Western philosophy states that God should be referred to in most contexts as masculine by analogy. It justifies this by pointing to God's relationship with the world as begetter of the world and revelation i.e. analogous to an active instead of receptive role in sexual intercourse. Others interpret God as neither male nor female. The Catechism of the Catholic Church No. 239 specifically states that God is neither man nor woman, he is God. In contrast to most other Christian denominations, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints LDS Church teaches that God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit are physically distinct while being one in purpose. The LDS Church also teaches that God the Father is married to a divine woman, referred to as Heavenly Mother. Humans are considered to be spirit children of these heavenly parents. Topic. Gender of the Holy Spirit Topic. In Hebrew language, in Rabbianic literature, the divine presence of God, the Holy Spirit, the Shekhinah is feminine. The New Testament also refers to the Holy Spirit as masculine in a number of places, where the masculine Greek word, paraclete, occurs, for comforter, most clearly in the Gospel of John, chapters 14-16. These texts were particularly significant when Christians were debating whether the New Testament teaches that the Holy Spirit is a fully divine person, or some kind of force. All major English Bible translations have retained the masculine pronoun for the Spirit, as in John chapter 16 verse 13. Although it has been noted that in the original Greek, in some parts of John's Gospel, the neuter Greek word for it is also used for the Spirit. Topic. Islam Topic. The oneness of God is of primary importance in the Qur'an, and in Islam, in Qur'an, and Allah is most often referred to with the pronouns hu or huwa, and although these are commonly translated as him, they can also be translated gender neutrally, as them. This is also true of the feminine equivalent, Hayya. Quran 112-3-4 states, He begets not, nor is he begotten and none is like him them. Other references include the first-person pronoun, and the relative pronoun ma that which, as in the phrase, the heavens and that which created them. Quran 91-5 <inaudible> Indic religions <inaudible> Hinduism Topic. The oldest of the Hindu scriptures is the Rigveda 2nd millennium BC. The first word of the Rigveda is the name Agni, the god of fire, to whom many of the Vedic hymns are addressed, along with Indra the warrior. Agni and Indra are both male divinities. The Rigveda refers to a creator Hiranyagarbha or Prajapati, distinct from Agni and Indra. This creator is identified with Brahma not to be confused with Brahman, the first cause, born of Vishnu's navel, in later scriptures. Hiranyagarbha and Prajapati are male divinities, as is Brahma who has a female consort, Saraswati. There are many other gods in the Rigveda. They are not simple forces of nature and possess complex character and their own mythology. They include goddesses of water Appa, and dawn uses, and the complementary pairing of Father Heaven and Mother Earth. However, they are all subservient to the abstract, but active positive force of truth, RTA, which pervades the universe and all actions of the gods and humans. 
This force is sometimes mediated or represented by moral gods Aditya such as Varuna or even Indra. The Aditya are male and RTA is personified as masculine in later scriptures see also Dharma. In some Hindu philosophical traditions, God is depersonalized as the quality less Nirguna Brahman, the fundamental life force of the universe. However, theism itself is central to Hinduism, while many Hindus focus upon God in the neutral form, Brahman being of neuter gender grammatically, there are prominent Hindu traditions that conceive God as female, even as the source of the male form of God, such as the Shakta denomination. Hinduism, especially of the Samkhya school, views the creation of the cosmos as the result of the play of two radically distinct principles, the feminine matter and the masculine spirit Prakriti is the primordial matter which is present before the cosmos becomes manifest. Prakriti is seen as being the power of nature, both animate and inanimate. As such, nature is seen as dynamic energy Ray, 1994. Prakriti is originally passive, immobile and pure potentiality by nature. Only through her contact with the kinetic Purusha she unfolds into the diverse forms before us. The idea of Prakriti, Purusha leads to the concept of the divine consort. Almost every diva of the Hindu pantheon has a feminine consort Devi. Topic. Sikhism Topic. The Guru Granth consistently refers to God as He and Father. However, it also says that God is indescribable. Thus, God in Sikhism has no gender. The Akal Purak, timeless being is referred to as one of the gender, simply because the Granth is written in North Indian Indo-Aryan languages mixture of Punjabi and dialects of Hindi which have no neutral gender. It is described as energy that prevails throughout the universe. <laughs> Animist religions Animist religions are common among oral societies, many of which still exist in the 21st century. Typically, natural forces and shaman spiritual guides feature in these religions, rather than fully-fledged personal divinities with established personalities. It is in polytheism that such deities are found. Animist religions often, but not always, attribute gender to spirits considered to permeate the world and its events. Polytheistic religions, however, almost always attribute gender to their gods, though a few notable divinities are associated with various forms of epicene characteristics. Gods that manifest alternatingly as male and female, gods with one male and one female face, and gods whose most distinctive characteristic is their unknown gender. Other Topic. Carol P. Christ is the author of the widely reprinted essay, Why Women Need the Goddess which argues in favor of the concept of there having been an ancient religion of a supreme goddess. This essay was presented as the keynote address to an audience of over 500 at the Great Goddess Re-Emerging conference at the University of Santa Cruz in the spring of 1978, and was first published in Heresies, The Great Goddess Issue 1978, pgs. 8-13. Carol P. Christ also co-edited the classic feminist religion anthologies Weaving the Visions, New Patterns in Feminist Spirituality 1989 and Woman Spirit Rising 1979 the latter included her essay Why Women Need the Goddess. See also Ardhanarishvara Feminism Gender and Religion Gender in Bible translation God male deity Goddess Goddess movement God is a girl 2002 God is a woman 2018 Radha Krishna Sky Father The Hebrew Goddess Theology Topic Notes and references Topic. Topic. Further reading Topic. Burke, Matthew. God and Gender in Judaism. First Things 64 1996, 33-38.
Dorf, Elliot N. Male and Female God Created Them, Equality with Distinction. University Papers. Los Angeles, University of Judaism, 1984, pp. 13-23 Eller, Bernard. The Language of Canaan and the Grammar of Feminism. Grand Rapids, Michigan, William B. Eerdmans Publishing Company, 1982. Harlow, Jules. Feminist Linguistics and Jewish Liturgy. Conservative Judaism 49, 1997, 3-25. Johnson, Elizabeth. The Incomprehensibility of God and the Image of God Male and Female. Theological Studies 45, 1984, 441-465. Platinga, Alvin Carl. God, Arguments for the Existence of. Routledge Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Routledge, 2000. Swinburne, Richard G. God. In Ted Honderick, ed. The Oxford Companion to Philosophy. Oxford University Press, 1995. Topic. External links. Topic. God as Mother, a Christian view. Feminine images for God. The Spirit and the Bride. God and Gender in Judaism. Mauser, William E. Is God Masculine? International Council for Gender Studies, 2007.